Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Sony Xperia Z3 and we're going to take a look at how easily we can set up PS4 remote play on this device and the process is exactly the same for the Z3 Compact as well. So to begin with, make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 could be connected in via a network cable or via a wireless connection, but either way, your handset needs to be connected to the same network as your PlayStation 4. Next, make sure your Sony Xperia Z3 is fully up to date by going into about phone software update and you can see mine's already up to date but if yours isn't make sure it is then download the PlayStation application you can see I don't have it so I'm going to go into that Play Store here and there's two options essentially you need to download both so we'll do the PlayStation app first of all it shouldn't take too long to download it's just over three megabytes as you can see there and while we're here we're also going to be doing the PS4 remote play as well so this is slightly larger at uh, just over six and a half megabytes but again over a wireless connection it doesn't take too long and both of those are now installed so now we're ready to rock we're going to head on over into the PlayStation app and that loads up pretty quickly and as you can see it's asking us to sign in with our PSN account so I'm just going to sign in here hopefully it's remembered me from previous sessions and it looks like it may have so we'll just give it a second to sign in here and yes it has you can see my little profile picture pulling a face so excellent and that's connected up to my PSN account what we're now going to do is connect to the PlayStation 4 now it should pick it up on our Wi-Fi network because we're connected to the same one and it gives us a little tutorial here on how to connect it up if we haven't already done so and you can see we have to go through various settings on the PlayStation 4 so what we'll do is hit close here and switch on over to the PlayStation. We now need to authorize the connection in from the Sony Xperia Z3 to our PlayStation 4. So head on over into your settings and then scroll down until you hit PlayStation app connection settings. So hit X here and you can see it says add device. So we're gonna hit X here and it says start PlayStation app on device such as your smartphone or tablet and then enter the following number on the screen and then it gives you so many seconds that it's going to be valid for. On the Z3 tap on the PlayStation 4 icon and you can see it says connecting and it now prompts us for the same code that we've uh, just seen on the PlayStation 4 console so we'll just type that in so 0922 whoops fat fingers 229741 there we go hit send and now it should authorize the connection in with the PlayStation and you'll see it says the following user has connected on the PlayStation 4 which confirms that the connection has been made between the smartphone and the PlayStation. So as it stands at the moment the Z3 is connected to a PS4 but limited to certain functions like using it as a second screen. So now we're going to pair up the PS4 remote play application. So on our console go back a step go down to remote play connection settings and make sure there's a tick next to enable remote play you can do this manually by adding a device like we did previously but we're just going to leave the tick on enable remote play then on our z3 simply tap on ps4 remote play now it gives us two options the first one is to carry on setting up the application itself or the register button takes you to registering the DualShock 4 controller. I'm not going to register the controller just yet because I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I want to connect the app first of all, so we'll hit next. And then it trundles off, tries to connect to the PlayStation 4 console. You may even get a prompt on the screen saying, uh, I have even connected to the console. Well, so we'll give it a couple of seconds. Shouldn't take too long. As I say, we're already connected up to the same Wi-Fi network and it says the connection speed of this device might be too slow. And now it's referring to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to hit next to get it to have another go because as you can see, my Wi-Fi bars are quite low and this is an indication of how good your gameplay experience can be, good or bad, depending on your connection. So make sure you have a good connection through to your wireless uh, network or the same network as your PS4 and you can see it's connected up we've got the on-screen controls here uh, which should disappear when we go into landscape mode so what we're now going to do that's connected up fine and those controls then disappear 
So we'll now connect up the DualShock 4 controller by going back a step here. It says you will lose the connection, which is fine. And I'm gonna hit register. You can either go via this method or by hitting the menu buttons, going to settings and then go to view controller guide. And then you can hit the same register button and it takes you straight through to the same area. And you can see it says Bluetooth automatically is turned on. So now what we need to do is press share and the PlayStation button on our controller simultaneously until the white bar starts to blink. And you can see it says pairing, DualShock 4 connected. So we're all done, we'll hit close and then we'll go back a step uh, and we'll hit next just to connect back into the PS4 again. Now, as I say, depending on how good the connection is, this may take maybe a minute or two. I'm still uh, just over one bar for the wireless connection, so do bear that in mind. If you've got a poor wireless connection, your gameplay will suffer as a result. So it may lag, it may not even connect or just respond poorly, so do bear that in mind. There we go, that's connected up. Finally managed to find my Nico Smart Clip here, which makes handling the device and the controller a little bit easier, so links will be down in the description box below if you're after one. And I've got my TV in the background there with Grand Theft Auto, just to show you how much of a difference there is in terms of lag maybe between the Z3 and the console which is streaming it. So as this is the PS4 variant of Grand Theft Auto 5, we also do have first person view. So we'll just get into a 4x4, then switch over. There we go, it looks absolutely awesome considering I'm playing it on the Sony Xperia Z3 coupled with those front facing stereo speakers is definitely a immersive experience no matter where you are obviously within wi-fi range and subject to the quality of connection because if the connection is poor as i say the gameplay will be poor the sound will break up the display will break up and if it's really really poor it may not even connect to your playstation so do bear that in mind and if you see the device uh, I mean the Sony Xperia Z3 freeze or lock up that's not uh, the Z3's problem and it's not even the PlayStation 4's problem it's as I say due to the poor connection between the two devices so do bear that in mind we'll just jump straight out here and that's always a bit of a tumbled experience as you get out so we'll just switch back to third person view or something that I'm more familiar with and have a mosey on down here and see what the difference is like as I change direction while walking. So you can kind of give you an idea of is there much lag between the two over Wi-Fi? Is that maybe a second? If that, less than a second maybe. And that was a nice uppercut. And now's the time to run. So there we go guys, that's been a look at PS4 Remote Play and how easily you can connect the Sony Xperia Z3 and Z3 Compact to your PS4. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there or hit me up on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Inamka4. I do post up a lot of photographs from varying devices over on Instagram, so do check me out over there. If you found this video informative and helpful, do hit that thumbs up and if you're new and want to tag along hit that subscribe button just down there it doesn't cost you a single penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos as we've got plenty of content coming up thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time